Let's get to Jane King, our buddy at the NASDAQ in New York. Yeah, and a new scam is aiming to trick you into giving up your cell phone account, right, Jane? Yes, uh, good morning to you, Scott and Nina. These scams never end. Here's a new one. If someone calls you pretending to be from your cell phone carrier and asks for a verification code, don't give it to them. These fraudsters are tricking victims in an attempt to purchase a new device on the victim's account. So they basically, the scam starts when someone calls your cell and says uh, they are from your carrier and there was a fraud attempt and they need your PIN and password information. And then they take that and go buy their own device. Well, some Google employees want a company board member removed. Hundreds have signed a petition calling for the removal of Kay Coles James, the president of the Conservative Heritage Foundation think tank, who is on Google's Artificial Intelligence Ethics Board. They say having her on the board endorses her views. Well, Nestle denies its Poland Spring bottled water is regular groundwater. Twelve plaintiffs in eight states are suing the company for allegedly diluting its bottled water with regular groundwater and misleading consumers in its marketing and advertising into thinking it's pure spring water. Now Nestle added that the Poland spring brand is in fact 100% natural spring water. Gas prices typically do move higher this time of year, but the seasonal rise even more pronounced thanks to flooding in the Midwest and dwindling oil production in Venezuela. U.S. drivers now paying on average $2.71 a gallon. That's up 28 cents from a month ago, nearly 50 cents higher from early January, according to Gas Buddy. And stocks soared yesterday. We had a great first quarter and a good start to the second quarter. The Dow up 330 points, but quiet today. In fact, we are unchanged. So no change at all. The indication for the start of trading today, unch, we call it. Life in the Nasdaq. I'm Jane King. Back to you, Scott. Uh, Jane, if you'll pardon a really bad pun, sounds like raw pet foods are in the doghouse. <laughs> well, they're under increased U.S. regulatory scrutiny for sure after a long-running outbreak of drug-resistant salmonella that's been tied to raw turkey products that showed up in, in some pet foods. Now, feeding raw food to pets is growing in popularity. Some pet owners believe it is more ancestral diet for their animals, so they've been doing that. But uh, regulators say that's such a good idea. And yeah, we'll see where mm. that heads from there. Jane, thank you. Yep. Thank you. 725 right now. Next